Hey guys, I just want to say good evening um, from a rainy, wet, uh, northwest uh, night. Uh, this video is long overdue. Uh, the whole reason I created my channel was to uh, share my testimony of the power of Jesus and how he delivered me um, from uh, demonic strongholds. Uh, Satan and the wicked and evil life um, that I was living and uh, it was all through uh, the Lord Jesus Christ and, and his blood and I thank God every every moment um, that I that I uh, have every heartbeat every breath um, he has blessed me so much guys and uh, if you're watching this um, it's not a mistake there's a reason for it and uh, with whatever I say I just ask that you pray about it and if it doesn't line up with scripture and uh, the Lord Jesus Christ turn it off get away from me because uh, that's what it's all about um, this video is a, is a, a serious one uh, this is about uh, how demons and uh, Satan had a whole uh, strong uh, grip over my life and uh, how I had such fear and uh, wickedness surrounding me and how I've been completely delivered and born again uh, so anyways tonight guys I have my Bible I have a notebook um, just with some notes that I want to keep on track and and you so um, I want to say a quick prayer if you don't mind Father, I thank you, Lord, so much for this evening, um, for this opportunity to share my testimony. And um, Lord, I just ask that your Holy Spirit just guide me, keep me on track, Lord, and uh, help whoever is listening uh, and is looking for peace and truth. I pray, Lord, that your Holy Spirit would come to them, convict them, Lord, and bring them close to you. And I pray this all in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, let's start, guys. I'm going to jump right into it. Um, first thing, uh, if you are not a Christian, um, if you were kind of raised like me, um, that's okay. I want to bring you uh, to the Lord Jesus. I want you to have life and, and hope and love um, because I want to start off by saying straight away um, I was not raised in a Christian home um, you know my childhood I was born in the 80s you know you look back at pictures of my childhood uh, you know the supper table is filled with cans of beer uh, cigarettes all over the place uh, parties I mean you name it um, I did not grow up uh, hearing Bible stories when I was a child um, you know, as I grew older, I made fun of Christians, I mocked them, um, you know, and uh, I can tell you right now that I know the power of Jesus Christ, and uh, I think I can connect uh, with people out there uh, that have their reservations about it. Um, so, here I go. Um, you know, I stumbled um, into Satan's path. Uh, as a young adult, um, I made a, a decision that I wanted to um, concentrate on on girls, on partying, on you know basketball and friends and uh, partying. That was all it was about. I didn't care. And looking back now as a Christian, I see that I was trying to fulfill the lusts of the flesh. And uh, but at the time, I had no idea. Um, you know, I have also seen now God's supernatural intervention on my life. I've had a, an experience um, when uh, two of my close friends were involved in the drug trade and um, were gunned down one night, and I was supposed to be there. And there is no reason whatsoever that I should not have been there. 
I hung out with them every single night. And the one night in particular, my phone was ringing and it was them. They wanted me to come over and hang out like I had every other night. Go downtown, eat and drink, have fun. And uh, that one night I looked at my phone and there was just something holding me back from answering it and going. And that night they were ambushed. Um, so I knew that God had a purpose. At the time I was scared and I was I feared and I ran. Um, I fleed. And I, you know, dove directly into alcohol and drugs. Um, and you know, this was kind of the, the start of it. I was always what I thought a good kid. Um, uh, but, you know, you get um, manipulated by the world and you, you kind of have this this vision of how life is. You know, you watch TV, you know, you look at the music videos, um, you look at movies, uh, Hollywood, all of these things promote sex, drugs, uh, and uh, just this lavish lifestyle, you know, live life with the gusto, and, and that's all there is. Um, and I kind of dove right into that. So, you know, there was a, a real crucial part in my life when I sat down and I wanted to sell my soul to Satan. And, you know, I don't know where it came from. It was just something that was pressing on me. And one night I decided, okay, I'm going to do it. And this is what I want. I want women and I want to be feared. And that's it. I want to I wanna be the life of the party. That's what I want. So, um, you know, I snorted a line of cocaine and drank a beer and that was it. And that is when I let that uh, demonic influence come in. And it settled and it stayed for a very long time. Um, so after this, I mean, the power of, of Satan is real. Uh, it was very real, almost instantly. You know, uh, back in, in, you know, when I was 20, 21 years old, um, I was all about my looks. And, um, you know, uh, I was a good looking young kid. I was tall, uh, you know, six foot four. I was, I, you know, I weightlifted, I uh, had tattoos, um, you know, uh, I was appealing, I guess, um, but there was nothing really special about me. It seemed like when Satan had kind of um, entered and, and, and taken control of my life and I made that pact with him, everything changed, you know. I, w I would go into a, a nightclub uh, with my friends and... It was like the most beautiful women uh, would just flock to me, and uh, you know it would just be this 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 popularity thing with me. And I don't know, um, well, I do know where it came from, and it was this spiritual darkness that was surrounding me, and I was feared. People knew who I was. Um, suddenly, the friends that I had. Um, you know, were big time drug dealers. Um, you know, you'd go to a nightclub and and spend all this money <clears throat> and uh, drive around with um, you know um, you know scary individuals. Um, and uh, this was kind of the life that I was living. And at first, it was awesome. You know, I was like, you know, you had you know all the all the booze you could have. Uh, drugs, you know, for me, it, w it was um, snorting cocaine and ecstasy and, and alcohol. That's what it was all about. So it was partying, you know, having different girls around all the time. Um, a, a real sick and uh, uh, really, really destructive lifestyle. Drinking and driving. Um, just, uh, it, was, it was hideous. And I did this for quite some time. And... Uh, you know, at this time, the other things that started happening and accompanying it was this uh, demonic presence, um, the darkness that, that happened. Um, I started, you know, uh, dealing with sleep paralysis. And any, anybody can look that up. I'm sure many of you who are watching this maybe have experienced it yourself. 
but that's when you're sound asleep, but you're awake, and it feels like you have lead pushing down on you, um, and you can't get up, and it's like a presence. Somebody's on top of you, and your eyes are open, you're awake, but you cannot move. You can't move a muscle, and there's just that heavy presence over you. And I suffered with that for years, all while this was happening. Um, there's a, uh, a man's testimony on here, um, and I'm going to put the link in the description, but it was actually watching his video that was like, oh my goodness, this is the same stuff that happened to me. Um, so anyways, you know, there were shadows in my room, uh, actual manifestations of, of demons sitting on my desk next to me. So you know how your alarm clock would kind of shine light in your room while it was all dark. Well, there'd be shadows moving around, whipping around like there were things in front of this thing. And there was nothing. Um, but there would be a demon sitting on my desk. Slimy looking, evil thing, wicked, wicked eyes. Staring at me while I slept. And, you know, I'd, I'd open my eyes. I'd look, I'd see it. And I'd kind of close it and it's like, okay, you're, you're crazy. And, you know, this wasn't, I wasn't on drugs at the time and you know you'd look over and it was there you'd close your eyes roll over and it's like oh man you'd turn back and it's still there looking at you and you could see it move and, and look at you and uh, just very creepy and it kind of reminded you of um, Smeagol from Lord of the Rings you know that hideous looking creature and it was sitting there just staring at me and this happened and it wasn't just an occasion here or there it all the time I'd go to sleep and, and this would happen. Um, you know, I, I'd wake up with physical bruising. Like I'd wake up, haven't slept, uh, bruising on my face, on my chest. Um, you know, my stomach would hurt, my legs. It was just like I was in a street brawl. Um, you know, just being so sore. And, um, and this continued to happen. And it scared me to death. Um, and I'd run to alcohol. I'd run to partying, um, to the to the life that I was living. And it kept going and going. And I got tired and sick. And there was always something inside of me that wanted rest and peace. And um, keep in mind, I, I didn't know anything about Christianity, really. And um, I just... You know, I wanted a change. I wanted out of it. Um, and finally, you know, I, on my birthday, um, I got a DUI. I went through a roadblock. I was drunk as could be. And I know it was the Lord doing this. You know, thank, thank the Lord I never killed somebody, you know, in an accident. Um, but I went through a roadblock. And uh, I had beer all over the truck. I was just wasted. And uh, off to off to jail I went. And um, I'm so thankful that that happened. It, it was really the, the focal point on changing my life. And I know that God did that for me. And it saved me. Um, and I was just sick. You know, I, at that point, I lost my license. I, I, you know, I had a criminal record. I was had to go to court. And I was just this young, good-looking kid. I didn't want all this mess. And I felt like a real loser for the first time in my life. And, you know, realistically, I was for a long time. Um, but I was sick and tired of it. And uh, I remember one night I, I had been up partying. Uh, my roommate and I had a party. We had a bunch of girls over, a bunch of friends. And in the morning, um, a girl had left my bed. And I woke up sick and disgusted, and I cried out to God. And I just said, you know, I, if you're real, show me. I'm scared to death. I hate my life. This isn't me. I want to be married. I want to have children. And I said, God, if you're real, show me. And it was at that point when my life started to change. 